Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silent meditation. What's up, PR? I'm Jonah. Today is January 16th, 2020, and it's an A-Day. I'm Dane. Now for today's announcements. Midterm bell schedule. Today we'll be following midterm exam bell schedule. Exam periods will be periods 2 and 7. 7 and 8 or 8 and 9. Good luck. Rampage. The latest edition of the Rampage is now available. This week's edition features the best of Walt Disney World, along with section of Disney style, all things Disney and Disney evil. Pick up a copy today. Yearbook. This is a friendly reminder about submitting club photos to the yearbook club photos. Will not be taken again during school day this year. Please find the email address sent from Mrs. Harshman that lists the procedure to submit your club photo to the yearbook. All club photos are to be sent to the yearbook email address found at the bottom of your screen by January 31st. Contact Mrs. Harshman if you have any questions or concerns. Science Bowl. The WPA Science Bowl will be held on February 22nd. If you are interested in participating, please email Mrs. Gallipudi at her email address found at the bottom of your screen no later than January 20th. Forensics. Anyone interested in competing in this weekend's tournament here at PR or the following weekend's tournament in Mercer should sign up in room 106 as soon as possible. The deadline for signing up for this weekend's tournament is noon today. Ski and Board Club, this week's trip to Seven Springs is being rescheduled due to warm weather and deteriorating conditions. The new date of the trip is Friday, February 21st. Yo, prom committee, do you love playing events? Do you want to have an input on what the DJ plays at prom? It's probably going to be week 2020. You should join the prom committee. There will be a prom committee meeting on Tuesday, January 21st after school in room 416. If you plan on being a member, this year, please plan on attending this meeting. If you are unable to attend, please email Mrs. Holmgren before January 21st. Blood drive. The next PRHS blood drive is scheduled for January 29th from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Donating blood is one of the easiest ways to give back to your community. If you have never donated blood before, please consider trying, as blood donors are urgently needed. All 16 years, all 16 year olds require a sign a uh, parent form to make an appointment, visit the web address at the bottom of your screen. Click on the donate button and search with the group code also found at the bottom of your screen. Be the giving type and donate blood on January 29th. Cap and gown. Seniors, if you have not ordered a me cap and gown for graduation, please see Mrs. Mara in the principal's office for an order form. Peer Buddies, please report to Dr. Seif's, Mrs. Bruff's, or Mrs. Dittmer's classroom during your scheduled Peer Buddies period for your midterm exam. Peer TV Club, the next meeting for the club will take place today after school in room 328. They will be taking a club photo for the yearbook, go over Rami's information, and plan for the next classroom clash episode or a new project. Hack the Ram, do you have an interest in technology? Hack the Ram is a free 24-hour invention marathon hosted at Pine Richland High School. Participants with any level of programming or hardware experience are invited to work together and create a technology project from scratch. They will have multiple seminars throughout both days to help you either learn how to code for the first time or fine tune your skills. Best of all, there will be free food, drinks, and t-shirts for all of your participants. Bring your friends and prepare for an amazing weekend. To learn more about the event or register as a participant, visit their web address at the bottom of your screen. Miss Trip, there will be an informational meeting for all students and their parents interested in attending the Spain 2021 trip on January 23rd at 5.30 p.m. in Global Studies. Students must be enrolled in Spanish class during the 20 or 2021 20, school year and must be in their junior or senior year to participate. College fair, not sure where you want to start your college career search, want to know how to schedule your high school classes for a specific career focus on or meet college admission requirements. It is time for you to decide which post-secondary option is right for you. Probably nothing. Representing this from over 
225 two-year, four-year colleges, nursing schools, business schools, and trade schools will participate in the Pittsburgh National Fair Thursday, February 6th. This is an excused absence day for junior students only who turn in their college fair form by February 4th to, to Mrs. Dyer in the front office. It will not be an excused absence for anyone else. Younger students are encouraged to attend the fair in the evening. If you have any questions about the fair, please see Mrs. Whalen for questions about attendance. See Mrs. Dyer. Responsible reporter. Do you know what it means to be a responsible reporter? Definition of a responsible reporter, someone who is aware of what's going on around you, a place like your home, school, and especially social media. If you sense something potentially harmful, you should tell a trusted adult immediately. Let's go to a video reminder made by the first period TV production class of what it takes to be a responsible reporter. Mr. Right and Mr. Wrong in Responsible Reporting. Presented by PRTV. Before we begin, what is responsible reporting? Responsible reporting is if you see something, say something to a trusted adult. Danger can happen anywhere, including your school, home, and on social media. At school, an innocent nerd bumps into a bully. Mr. Right and Mr. Wrong both witness the carnage. Mr. Wrong ignores the bully and does nothing. Mr. Right runs off and reports to a teacher about the fight. Mr. Teacher goes and breaks up the fight. Thanks to Mr. Right's reporting, minimal damage was caused. And now to the home environment. Oh no! Mr. Right and Mr. Wrong's cousin, Wild Willie, is stealing prescription drugs from the medicine cabinet. Mr. Wrong, not wanting to be a snitch, does absolutely nothing. Mr. Right does the right thing though and tells a responsible parent. The parent then gets help for Willie, potentially saving his life from a future addiction. And now, social media. Mr. Right and Mr. Wrong see a Snapchat post that seems to be a cry for help. Mr. Wrong just ignores it, thinking it's just for drama and keeps scrolling. Mr. Right reports to a counselor about their friend's post. The counselor looks into the situation and helps their friend with his depression. Remember to always trust your gut. If you see something that doesn't look right, tell a trusted adult. If you don't, like Mr. Wrong, the potential threat rises and could lead to something worse. Please report responsibly. Remember, if you do not report something, the potential of something getting hurt increases. Be a good friend, do the right thing, trust your gut. Now it is time for a PRTV sports report. Starting off, we have cheerleading. One of my favorites. If you are interested in trying out for the 2020-21 cheerleading team, please attend an informational meeting on Thursday, February 13th. The meeting will be held from 7 to 8 p.m. in the high school LGI room. Girls lacrosse. Any middle school or high school player interested in trying out for some girl lacrosse team this spring, please plan to attend the player parent meeting held on Thursday, January 30th at PRHS, 6 p.m. in the Global Studies. Coaches and boosters will be providing information to players and parents. Any questions, please contact head coach Mrs. Adams at her email address at the bottom of your screen. Swimming and diving. Tonight, the varsity and JV teams will be at North Hills at home. The meet begins at 6 p.m. Girls basketball. Tonight the varsity team will be at Nor Norwin. Game starts at 7.30 p.m. That's it for sports. Now let's head over to lunch. Good morning, Pine Rich. I'm here with your lunch. Today we have chicken drumsticks or meatloaf with gravy, MTO chopsticks, and maple bacon glazed wings. That's it. Back to the guys at the main desk. All right, guys. Now it is time for the weather. So today we have a high of 38 and a low of 21. Tomorrow, we got some sun with a high of 31 and a low of 25. Now for the five-day forecast, we got a high of 43 and a low of 21 on Saturday. Sunday, we got a high of 25 and a low of 19. And then Monday, we got a high of 25 and a low of 17. Now that weather's mad chill. I'm trying to vibe this weekend. All right, that's it today. for today. It's an A-Day, and I'm Dane. Uh, peace, I guess. I don't know.